Hello everyone, today I will introduce the pass-through function. Using this function, we can remotely access PLC and HMI. We provide two pass-through types, normal pass-through and VPN pass-through. Normal pass-through is divided into serial port pass-through and network port pass-through. And I will introduce normal pass-through first. Before using this function, we need to ensure that the communication between Vbox and the device is normal. Uh, here I add two, add two communication. Connect to Vbox PLC LX3VE via through through RS422 and uh, connect to HMI through the motor bus TCP. In the real-time data, we can see these two monitoring points is, are, are online. <coughs> and now let's click pass through. Here are the steps of, of pass through the process. And let's try serial port pass through first. Filling fill in this information. Uh, such as port, port red, stop bit, data bit, and and so on. And now let now we can click start pass through. Um, we can see the status light turns blue, indicating that pass through is in progress. Uh, and uh, now we can open our PLC software. We have connected to our PLC successfully. Okay. Now we can download the PLC program. Also, we can monitor and edit our PLC program. Okay, this is the serial port pass-through and the network port pass-through is similar. But please notice that we strongly recommend using VPN pass-through instead of network pass-through because VPN pass-through is more stable and uh, convenient. And now I will show how to, how to use VPN pass-through. Before using this function, we need to download a WVPN tool on our wiki platform. This one. And uh, now let's stop, stop pass load first. The V box will spend about one minute to restart. Okay, it's online. And uh, this is this is our <coughs> this is our VPN tool. Uh, we just need to log in with our Vnet account. First, we need to choose our local IP. Through here, here are two ways to to set the local IP. Um, DHCP will get an IP in their network segment as the VBOX. 
or we can also select a stat static IP. Uh, in short, make sure that the local IP, Webox IP, and the device IP are the same network segments and do not conflict. Now we can start connecting. VPN connect. Uh, we can use IP config to check the local IP. This is my local IP, which is an same network segment of of my VBox and uh, HMI. Now let's ping ping my HMI IP. successfully so we can we can download our HMI progress Here we need to fill in our HMI IP and check the HMI version. If we if we can check check successfully, so we can also download our HMI progress. Okay. Disconnect. And uh, the V box will also spend spend about one minute to restart. And uh, that's all. Thank you for your listening.